villagers and people of use. So this is below what, what, what they have. So we're trying to look for what can we do to design and use the existing uh, resources uh, in uh, answer to the problem that uh, we identified earlier. So we found out these are the things that the team uh, decided that uh, we want to do. What we want. We don't know yet how much we can do that. So uh, this is what we want. We want a tool that can be used uh, for, can be given to the farmer or villagers to report about any abnormal situation about animals. So not rely only with the village volunteer. So everybody in the village can be the, the problem. And also we need to have the location located where the farm are, where the manufacturer are, and slaughter are in on the map. So uh, and we also need the tool for the consumer. The consumer when somebody go to market and buy in like meat product and they can uh, record about uh, condition, let's say if they buy the chicken or they buy the beef and there's something that's funny and then we uh, we can report about it. Uh, and the ability to track whether when there's a problem, how can we track that uh, uh, between like the slaughterhouse and the farm? Uh, we want to have like we want to see like uh, good registration uh, that do beyond just the commercial side farm. We just do the small medium as well. And uh, another thing is uh, we would like to see there's a there should be like a community support. Uh, compensation or something when the let's say the outbreak happened and then the, the chicken were, were killed and uh, uh, we're looking for like if the community can support in those cases and it's another uh, another important part is uh, to answer the to education uh, providing uh, educate people more about uh, uh, animal health about uh, where to get animal that says from like you know, more promising, we cannot promise 100%, but at least more promising than the animal set from disease. And having the online open data information that the public can, can see as well. So, this is what we want. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 
um, distribute signal from the visualizing the data on the map or combining all the data collected, look it up on the map. One page and they can make the see what is happening, where the farm are, where the uh, market are, saw the house are, and then report by the villagers, uh, report by the uh, consumer, so all in, uh, in one information <coughs> one map. And we also uh, do some uh, online educational materials, for some the basic uh, online information that we have from our expertise team.
you can set that what kind of information you want people to access. The kind of information that, uh, like basic information about farm, maybe everybody can see, okay, you can turn it on for the public to see. And let's say the reporting about some critical condition or something, you don't want because that can be the rumor and then can make it chaotic in the, you know, uh, people can be the past rumor, rumor past uh, quicker than the reality. So that can be, you can set it to be non like, okay, I don't want people to see, but only my team to see. Right. Okay, so next I'm going to show you the form report, but because of it's on the phone, it's too small to show. I'm going to show the mobile version, mobile version to report the same, but it's online, so it's bigger screen. This one. Okay, so this is the same, the same way as you access it on the phone, you will see the same form. Uh, so because of um, this account has access to all the forms. So let's say you want to report about the market, collect data about market. So you can enter the market name maybe. Uh, we don't have we don't have the location that auto detect on the on the uh, computer. It's on the phone that we have uh, automatic uh, location detected. So I just type for can you read it? Oh. Smarter than I thought, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, so address, maybe, okay, so, okay, okay. Then, and then the size of the farm, maybe, okay, like size, okay? So remember, it is AAA, all of it. Can you save it, you can see the size information? Yeah. Okay, so it's submitted. So let's go to see it on the map. It should come arrive right on the map now. Is it on the farm or market? Okay, here, here it comes. So that's how the speed of data collection is. You go, the team bring the phone to the field, data collection, and if they have internet, it will submit it automatically. If not, it will wait until it gets to any of the internet connection. Okay, and so, um, I want to show that the data can also be submitted in future. Uh, 
submitted a post from Fargo or Villager through the voice call. So for this part, we designed using on the open source platform called the voice, which is uh, it's an IDR platform that allows uh, us to design the call flow. You can design the like uh, uh, form data collection in a different way. Yeah, different report, you can design the data collection based on that. And yeah, so I'm going to show. Maybe just try to make a call to see if yeah. they make it last.
when we call to the bank, a call center, I it's a take a very long time and I, it may be crazy. So <laughs> I think that in this case, we, we should uh, let them spend a little bit time, but we keep a uh, key a uh, key message press and their phone number. And this is our duty for our call center to call back, if, if, uh, including we set up a Like if more than five uh, people who, who, who call and report this is really? the same business, they have to call them back. But one is okay. But about the threshold, they have to be considered. Unified 
this is at the end. Of, well, I only have two slides here, two, so two reports in this map. Sorry if you didn't get time to load more data. But this is the view for the sites, um, for the reports. So what do we get out of this? Um, we get every report in a single map, both the, those made through um, a hotline and made through the web interface. Um, we get well, we get to see where the reports are. So we, we, if there are many um, things in one place, then that would be uh, suspicious and we could investigate if it actually is an outbreak. Um, seeing this reporting data, we get to do some updates online. It is very easy. There were erroneous and uh, there were erroneous reports, and then um, modifying whatever was necessary to keep the data updated. The, the benefit of having everything in one place and on the internet is that, well, since it's on the cloud, we can access it at any time and from anywhere that we have a internet connection. And uh, the thing that we're using to this, this two existing platforms is that they have already been used and we know that they work. Um, what we've uh, been coding this time is the connection between them so that we can do straight reporting from voice to the map. So, what with it? Um, the, 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 this prototype that we built, actually, you know, it's the connection between existing systems and the adaptation of the database to match our use case. Um, so, the whole point is to turn these paper forms and phone calls into um, data that arrives in as real time as possible and probably a lot faster than paper. Um, to have a unified database to Overtime. Um, we have the one database with every report that uh, ministry officials can access, um, having as updated information as possible to take uh, immediate action if it were necessary and unify that. Um, and then simplify both uh, the reporting process and the analyzing of the data. So I would like to do a phone call of the uh, bad for the last few minutes, so I've been trying it out. So let's hope that it helps us. Um, oh my god. <laughs> More reports right now? Sorry, that's really. Um, the idea is that we get a fifth one to the hotline. I'm gonna do it right now.